welcome aboard Alex's Animal Ark. My name is Alex and I will be your guide to all the amazing animals that live on our planet. Today we will be learning about the platypus, which was requested by my cousin Lindsay. So what exactly is a platypus? To start with, they're one of three species of monotreme, with the other two being the long and short-beaked echidna. The males can reach an average length of about 20 inches, and the females can reach an average length of about 17 inches, but it depends on where they live. The males can weigh between 1.7 and 6.7 pounds, and the females can weigh 1.3 to 3.7 pounds. Both males and females could live 20 years or get longer in the wild and have been known to survive for up to 23 years in captivity. Their bodies are covered in thick brown waterproof biofluorescent fur. The texture of the fur is apparently similar to that of a mole. Their front legs are short with lots of webbing on their feet to help with swimming. The back feet are partially webbed and act as rudders while swimming. Both set of feet have strong claws which are used for digging burrows and moving around on land. Both males and females have spurs on their ankles, but only the males have a venom gland attached to their ankle spurs. This makes the platypus one of a few venomous animals. Their tail is broad and flat and used to store fat when food is scarce. Their eyes are very small and found in a small groove behind their bill, which is where their ears are as well. Studies have shown that the platypus's eyes operate more like the eyes of the Pacific hagfish or northern hemisphere lamprey than most four-legged animals. Their eyes also have double cones, unlike most mammals. The most defining characteristic of the platypus is its duck-like bill. The bill is covered in soft, rubber-like skin and contains both electroreceptors as well as touch receptors. Their nostrils are found on top of the bill near the tip. When searching for food underwater, the platypus closes its eyes, ears, and nostrils and relies on the bill to help them avoid, avoid obstacles while also detecting the electrical signals emitted by their prey. So where can you find the duck-billed platypus? They're found in freshwater systems in Australia from tropical rainforest lowlands and plateaus to cold high altitudes. Their range includes eastern Queensland and New South Wales, eastern central and southwestern Victoria, and throughout Tasmania. So what are some platypus behaviors? The platypus is active year-round, but is generally active during the twilight and night. During the day, they will rest in their burrow, which is usually built into the riverbank. Platypuses mainly eat invertebrates, their diet can consist of insect larvae, shrimp, swimming beetles, water bugs, tadpoles, worms, freshwater mussels, snails, cicadas, moths, and crayfish. To gather their food, they will dive underwater and close off their nostrils, eyes, and ears and rely on the receptors in their bill to find food by sifting through the substrate of the water or by catching bigger prey floating on the surface. They will often stay underwater to, for 30 to 140 seconds. Once they have found food, they will store it in their cheek pouches and then chew them using the grinding plates in their mouths after they resurface. These foraging sessions can last 10 to 12 hours a day, and the distance traveled from the home burrow depends on the individual and the environment in which they live. The breeding season varies depending on location and the population of said location. Studies suggest that platypuses in Queensland start breeding earliest, followed by the platypuses in New South Wales, Victoria, and Tasmania. The breeding probably takes place from August to, to October, but again, it depends on the location. The gestation lasts about 21 days, after which the female will lay one to three eggs, though usually only two are laid. Before laying her eggs, the female will build out a long, complex burrow and gather nesting material. After her eggs are laid, the female will incubate the eggs for about 10 days and will do this by holding them in her tail when she curls up. After the babies hatch, they will suckle on their mother from two fur-covered milk patches 
on her abdomen for three to four months. As the babies age, the mother will go out and forage more and more frequently until the babies eventually become weaned and leave the burrow to find their own territory. And now it's time for some platypus fun facts. Platypuses fluoresce teal under black light. Perry from Phineas and Ferb is a platypus. In 1799, the first scientist to look at a preserved platypus specimen thought it was fake. The name platypus comes from a Greek word and it means flat foot. One of the original scientific names for the platypus was Ornithorhynchus paradoxus which was given to it by Johann Blumenbach in 1800. Its scientific name is Ornithorhynchus anatinus, which means duck, duck-like bird snout. Early British settlers gave it many names, including water mole, duck bill, and duck mole. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed it and want to hear more, feel free to subscribe to Alex's Animal Arc on YouTube or subscribe on Spotify, Deezer, Stitcher, TuneIn, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Castro, CastBox, PodFriend, and iHeartRadio. Feel free to like and follow the Alex's Animal Arc Facebook page, and visit my website by visiting the link in the description. If there is an animal you would like to hear me cover, Please email me your name and the animal you want to hear about to the email in the description and I will add it to the list. Or feel free to leave a comment on YouTube or on the Facebook page with an animal you'd like to hear about if that makes you feel more comfortable. Thank you for coming on this animal adventure. I will see you all again for the next voyage when we learn about the giant elephant shrew.